Reasons for cleaning and disinfection. The predominant reason for cleaning and disinfection of endoscopes is to prevent the transmission of disease. This is achieved by observing standard precautions. This includes hand washing, wearing personal protective clothing and utilising the appropriate method of reprocessing for flexible endoscopes. Infectious agents that can be transmitted by inadequately cleaned endoscopes and accessories include bacteria such as Helicobacter, Pseudomonas, Salmonella, viruses including Hepatitis B virus and Hepatitis C virus, and others such as prions. The most important rule of any effective reprocessing is clean it, clean it, clean it. The most important step in endoscope reprocessing is thorough manual cleaning prior to disinfection or sterilisation. Endoscopes that have not been adequately cleaned cannot be properly disinfected or sterilised, even with prolonged exposure times. In order for manual cleaning to be effective, it must be performed by a person familiar with the structure of the endoscope and trained in cleaning techniques be undertaken immediately after the endoscope is used so that secretions do not dry and harden within the channels. Include the use of an appropriate enzymatic or biofilm remover. Include the cleaning of both internal and external surfaces of the endoscope. Prepare equipment. Personal protective equipment. Fluid repellent gowns that provide full skin protection for arms and body. Safety goggles, spectacles or face shields should be used when reprocessing endoscopes and when handling hazardous substances, especially where splashing of the concentrated solution may occur. Gloves used when reprocessing endoscopes must be impervious to the cleaning agents and biocides being used. Disposable gloves can be used if contact with these chemicals is for only short periods and contact with the skin is preventable. Accessories Cleaning adapters and syringes Lint-free cloths Octopus or flushing systems relevant to your endoscope brand and model Toothbrush Short stubby brush Brush for each channel selected for correct size Leak tester Chemicals enzymatic solution or a biofilm remover such as Matrix. Process. Wash hands then don personal protective equipment. Pre-cleaning. In the examination room immediately after the procedure, wipe the insertion tube from the control head to the distal tip with a disposable cloth dampened in fresh enzymatic or biofilm solution. Aspirate the solution through the suction channels using short, sharp bursts. Purge air water channels by depressing and releasing the air water button several times to flush the air water channel by using brand specific cleaning buttons when appropriate. Disconnect the water bottle and suction tubing from the endoscope, taking care not to contaminate them. Remove the endoscope from the light source. Attach the protective video cap if using a video endoscope. Transport to the cleaning area in a container to prevent contamination of the environment. Leak testing. It is essential to leak test the endoscope according to the manufacturer's instructions. All endoscopes should be leak tested after each patient use and prior to immersion. The leak test will detect any damage in the internal channels and exterior surfaces of the endoscope. After removing all detachable parts, such as buttons, biopsy caps and flushing adapters, Attach the leak tester and pressurise the endoscope.
Fully immerse the endoscope in fresh, clear water and observe for a continuous stream of bubbles. If the leak tester has a pressure gauge, as with Pentax endoscopes, observe for pressure loss prior to the immersion, as this indicates a significant leak, in which case the endoscope must not be immersed. Observe the head of the endoscope, the insertion tube and the umbilical cable for any bubbles coming from the endoscope. Flex the distal bending section of the endoscope in all directions using the control wheels. Flexing may help to detect a damaged section that would otherwise go unnoticed. The processor head must be removed from the water before disconnecting the leak tester. Cleaning. Prepare biofilm remover, matrix solution or enzymatic detergent solution. Prepare fresh biofilm remover, matrix or enzymatic detergent solution as per the manufacturer's instructions for reprocessing each endoscope. A fresh solution prevents cross-contamination. Ensure the endoscope remains fully immersed throughout the cleaning process. Clean accessories. Brush and clean non-disposable parts with a small soft brush, paying particular attention to all surfaces and lumens. Place buttons and valves in the ultrasonic. Matrix biofilm remover may also be used in your ultrasonic. Buttons should be thoroughly rinsed after removal from the ultrasonic and prior to sterilization or high level disinfection. Brush and wipe exterior. Wash all debris from outer surfaces by brushing and wiping the endoscope. Use of non-abrasive and lint-free cleaning tools will prevent damage to the instrument. Use a soft brush to gently clean the distal tip. Brush the control handles. Soft toothbrushes are useful to clean grooved handles. Brush the biopsy port. Brush around valve seats and clean thoroughly. And finally, clean the suction port. Check that all visible debris has been removed. Brush all channels. Using a long brush, brush all accessible endoscope channels including the body, the insertion tube and the umbilical cable or universal cord of the endoscope. After each brush passage, the tip should be checked for debris before retracting or reinsertion. Rinse the brush tip in the detergent solution, removing any visible debris. Continue brushing until there is no debris visible on the brush tip. Use a brush size compatible with each channel. If the brush is too small, debris can be missed. Too large a brush can become lodged. Discard single-use brushes after use. Clean reusable brushes then ultrasound and sterilize prior to reuse. Inspect reusable brushes between uses and replace when bristles are worn, missing, frayed, bent, if the shaft is kinked or the brush is otherwise damaged. Attach cleaning adapters and flushing systems. Check the manufacturer's instructions. Attach all flushing connectors and systems and purge all channels thoroughly with fresh enzymatic or matrix solution, especially those channels which cannot be brushed. For biofilm removal, shear forces through flushing are as important as contact time. For enzymatic products, specific contact time is required to allow enzymes to penetrate organic material. Immerse the endoscope and its internal channels for the contact time specified on the label of the solution. All channel entrances must be under the surface of the detergent to ensure that no air enters the channel when the endoscope is immersed. Purge internal channels with air after contact time while fully immersed. Discard detergent solution after each use. Water rinse. Flush all channels thoroughly with clean water to remove any enzymatic or biofilm remover. Rinse the outer surfaces of the endoscope with clean running water to remove all traces of detergent prior to disinfection. 
purge water from all channels with air to remove rinsing water prior to disinfection. Remove these attachments where necessary in preparation for automated reprocessing. These attachments may not be removed if manual soaking is the method of disinfection. Removing water from all channels and the exterior of the endoscope prevents dilution of the biocide used for disinfection. Clean running water should be used. The use of clean water for each endoscope will limit the potential for cross-infection. The amount of water required to thoroughly rinse the endoscope after cleaning will vary according to the design and length of the instrument. Dry external surfaces. Pat dry the outer surfaces of the endoscope with a soft lint-free cloth prior to manual disinfection, medivator and steroid usage. Disinfection, sterilization. Disinfect the endoscope following the manufacturer's instructions for automated endoscope reprocesses or manual disinfection. The same principles apply to the cleaning of Pentax and Fujinon endoscopes. They are wiping, suction, leak testing, brushing, flushing enzymatic, air, then water, followed again by air.